Caitlin. Welcome to DIY University. Today we're going to make some awesome candles. I'm really excited to show you guys how easy this is. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the base of the candles. These are all the jars I'm going to use. For those of you who have watched my other YouTube videos, you know that I love to cut bottles. Um, so these were San Pellegrino bottles that I cut. Here's a cute little cold brew coffee bottle that I cut. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to cut bottles, I have lots of resources on that. Check out my other YouTube videos. Uh, for those of you who don't want to be bothered to cut your own bottles, uh, you know, I picked this up at a thrift store for 50 cents. It's really cute. It's going to make an, a nice candle. Um, you can also use uh, assorted ceramics or even glass jars. You know, I keep my like mustard jars and things like that. And um, you could spray paint this lid with a nice color. And these make really lovely gifts too. Now I'm going to hot glue gun the wicks to the bottom of the candles. It's really important that you choose the right size wick for the diameter of the candle, otherwise your candle won't burn well. Next we're going to secure the wick in place with chopsticks. And now we're going to melt down our wax using a double boiler. This is important so that you don't burn it. And you're going to keep stirring until the wax is totally clear and there's no chunks. The type of wax I'm using is from Candle Science. It's a soy-based wax. Uh, I've had great success with this wax. Highly recommend it. It burns cleanly uh, and holds fragrance well too. Now that the wax is totally clear, we're ready to add the scent. Now comes the most fun part, pouring the wax. Candle supplies, especially when purchased in bulk, make for very cost-effective gifts that are also really impressive. Make sure you wait 24 hours before this next step. After the wax is hardened, it'll be easy to pull the chopstick out and cut the wick. You want to cut it a quarter of an inch above the candle wax. Thanks guys so much for watching my candle video, really appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys come back and check out more of my videos. Uh, there's a link below in the description of all the supplies I use, so if you guys want to replicate the project, it's super easy. Uh, and when you do, use hashtag DIYUniversity. Okay, thanks. Bye, guys.